Hello, Victor Tay from the church in Liverpool. Now, this Sunday I preached on the purpose of singing in the Christian life. The title was called The Purpose of Praise. And the main passage of scripture we looked at was Colossians 3.16. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Now, music is an extremely powerful tool. It can enhance the impact of spiritual words. It can help you remember important spiritual truths. And it can affect your spirit and therefore your attitude and your emotions. Singing should be a major part of your Christian life. But music can be used by Satan and the world to influence you and your family. So you don't want to underestimate the power of of bad music. So if you grew up listening to worldly songs and worldly music, you should really make it a point to change your playlist. So the first purpose of singing in the Christian life is to teach and admonish. It, music teaches us. So what makes music or what makes certain songs good or bad? I mean, is it the age of the song? I mean, there are old and new. Christian songs. What about instruments? You know, all different types of Christian music use different instruments. Does that make them good or bad? Uh, what about the type of emotion that it evokes? Some people think music that is overly emotional is bad, but some Christian hymns also evoke a lot of deep emotions. Uh, what about the style or the genre? Is that, does that make it good or bad? Christian music can be sung in a variety of different styles and genre. Uh, what about the association? Is it who initially wrote the song? Is it who sings the song? Does that make it right or wrong? Sometimes there are unbelieving Christians, you know, that sing songs that even Bible-believing Christian churches sing, but the composer may not have been saved themselves. What about the depths of the lyric? Even some Christian songs um, have songs that are quite repetitive in their lyrics, does that make them right or wrong? Well, I think the most important factor of what makes music right or wrong is the lyrics themselves. What is the song actually teaching? Is it teaching good or bad? Is it teaching false falsehoods or lies or is it teaching truth? That is how I think we should best judge um, songs and music. So songs with incorrect doctrine or are teaching false things should either be revised or not sung. Now, the second purpose of music and singing is to sing to one another. So to sing to yourself, sing to others, or sing with others. And families should sing songs with their children. And you know, you're more likely to sing hymns with your family if that's the sort of music you're listening to. So going back to my earlier point of changing your playlist. And singing one to another, this being a purpose, is why churches have congregational singing and why they might have singing presentations in their church. But solos in a church should only be sung by men because the Bible teaches that women should not be addressing the whole church. Women should not be teaching the whole congregation, and the Bible considers singing to the church as a form of teaching. And the last purpose of singing and music in the Christian life is that we sing to the Lord. Singing is a command. It is not a gift. So God commands us to sing. If you are not singing, you're sinning. So don't say, hey, I'm not the singing type. Um, you need to become the singing type. It is a, um, a huge part of the Christian life and God commands it. So when you sing to the Lord, hey, strive to improve in your singing. Hey, whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. So singing is no different. When we sing, hey, try and sing in tune. Try and sing louder. The more you sing, the more you use your voice, the better you're going to get at it. So God commands you to sing. He is pleased when you sing. So you ought to sing consciously like God is listening because he is. So if you want to listen to the full sermon and get and hear all the scriptures, there'll be a link in the description and on the end screen. 
Um, if this video was a blessing to you, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to get um, notified of our new sermons, you can subscribe to the channel. If you want to learn more about our church, go to our website, tcil.org.au. And if you're in the area, hopefully you'll come and visit us. So thanks a lot. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you.